So as you guys can see from the title of the video, we are going to be doing a beauty supply store only makeup starter kit for beginners. So if you are a beginner, this video is for you. The beauty supply store definitely has a lot of affordable makeup and you won't break the bank. But like you could take like $100 in there and get a bunch of makeup like a full face to be honest i got everything that you would need in here in my makeup bag for today's video you need something to put your makeup in so i recommend to get a makeup bag um the beauty supply store sells all type of like pouches and like little bags and stuff that you can put your makeup in if you can't find anything like this big at the beauty supply store i recommend the next store is like ross Burlington, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls. I got this from DD's a discount for like seven or eight dollars. Um, very inexpensive. You could find something under ten dollars with this size. I'm gonna do a separate video on beauty supply store makeup brushes, so be on the lookout for that. But we're just gonna be doing a full face. I will have everything listed down below of everything I'm gonna be using. I got a lot of stuff in here, so we're gonna start off with the brows, and I'm gonna be using the Nika K eye pencil, and I have the color dark brown. This is only a dollar. Y'all know if you go to Sephora, you're paying 20 something dollars for an eyebrow pencil. This is only a dollar. If you don't like wooden eyebrow pencils, you can get a retractable pencil, but I do recommend to get the color dark brown because it's more natural, but also do whatever works for you. So I'm just gonna trace um, my eyebrows and I'm gonna fill them in. It works just as good as a $20 eyebrow pencil. They have a lot of good makeup for under $3, under $10, under $5. Like I said, you can go in there with $100 and walk out with so much makeup. Probably not even $100. Versus going to Sephora, walking out with only three or four items. So I'm just filling in my brows. Once again, this brow pencil is a dollar. The concealer that I recommend from the beauty supply store, I have several, but these are like the OGs. These are the LA Girl Pro Concealers. These concealers have been out for years, you guys. So I have a bunch of these. The main color that everybody love is Fawn. Fawn is that girl, um, especially if you are of a deeper complexion. And I'm just gonna take some on a flat brush. And I'm going to use that to carve out my brows. This concealer is only, it depends on what beauty supply store you go to. But at my beauty supply store, it's either $1.99 or $2.99. You can actually find this concealer at Target as well. Maybe Walmart, but I know for a fact it's at Target for like $4.99. So that's why I recommend to get it um, at the beauty supply store for at least a dollar or two dollars. So you can save you a you know a dollar and some change or whatever. So so far so good. We got one dollar eyebrow pencil, we got a two dollar concealer, like so we done spent, what, like $4 already, maybe five, including tax. So the next thing you would need is some sort of eye primer. I necessarily don't really buy eye primers like that. I do have some, but I don't have any from the beauty supply store, but they do sell eye primers. Um, but you really don't need one. You can just go ahead and use a concealer so if you have some concealer left on the back of your hand you can just take the rest of that and put it on your eyelid and you can use that as your um, eye primer and basically what this does is make your eyelid like a blank canvas because we about to put on some eyeshadow so you want to make your eyelid like just a blank surface for the next you know application process that we're about to do which is apply eyeshadow so eyeshadow palettes can be expensive anywhere from 20 to a hundred and something dollars not the beauty supply store you can get a palette for a dollar two dollars three dollars four dollars five dollars ten dollars highest i've seen far as like an eyeshadow palette is maybe 19.99 
other than that everything is basically twenty dollars and under with an eyeshadow palette depending on what kind of brand is at the store but for the most part an eyeshadow palette for twenty dollars and under at the beauty supply store i'm actually going to be using a palette from nika k i never tried so i thought this would be a perfect palette from Nika Kades for beginners. Um, I've never tried this out from Nika K. I've tried a lot of their palettes, but I never tried this palette. This palette been out for years, okay? When I say years, years, this is before they came out with their up-to-date, more modern palettes. But if you are a beginner, I feel like something like this will work really well for you because it has like nice neutral shades in here um, and a couple like colorful mattes, but everything else pretty much in here is very neutral. So yeah, I just felt like this would be a perfect palette for that. We're going to do a simple look today. I'm not going to go too crazy because this is a beginner friendly video i want to say this palette well don't give me the line because just don't i want to say it might be 4.99 it could be 4.99 or 6.99 i'm gonna have all the prices on the screen um but yeah it's i, I know it ain't ten dollars i'm gonna go in with this brown up here oh look how pigmented that is it doesn't come with a mirror, but that's okay. Just use a handheld mirror. Palettes that don't come with a mirror, I just take my mirror and I put it across like this and hold it like that. That pretty much works for me. So I'm going to put some on the brush, tap it, and then I'm going to start, um, you know, putting the eyeshadow down. Okay. This palette been out for years. I've never tried it. Their brown is really pigmented. So I'm just tapping the color down. And then I'm just gonna buff it into my crease. Okay, I was not expecting. Okay, apparently you don't need a lot on the brush. I was not expecting that brown to be browning. Ooh, I love me a nice brown. Comment down below if you have this palette. Like, this is the perfect beginner friendly palette from the beauty supply store because like I said, it's not doing too much. I don't feel like it's intimidating. I know some palettes can intimidate like beginners, especially when you're trying to build a nice, you know, capsule um, makeup kit. But these colors, no, don't, it's, it's not intimidating that one bit. That brown, yes. I love that. Okay, let's go to the next eye. And you know what? Now that I think about it, these little palettes be sold out all the time when I go to Sam's Beauty. Be sold out all the time. And they were sold out last night when I went. Okay, I didn't tell you all the name of the palette. So this is the um, Nika K23 Wait, perfect 23 matte colors palette. Um, like I said, I will leave it all down below. I'm gonna take this color right here that I'm dying to use. This little orange right here. I'm gonna take that, put a little bit on the brush. That's kind of a lot, but I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put that on top right here and I'm gonna blend my edges out. Don't ever leave your eyeshadow like that because it looked like it's to me it looked like it's stamped on like somebody stamped on your eyeshadow you want it to look very blended and seamless so we're going to take that orange and we're just going to take a nice fluffy brush and we're just going to blend it out and then just adding another color on top of that just making the look a little bit more extra you know what i mean instead of just being blah and just blending that one color just blend it out just a little bit you see how this is a little bit more blended than that see that little harsh area right here and you see how that orange is kind of warming things up and also blending everything out so yeah you can always go on top of your crease color and blend those edges out with a fluffy brush so I'm gonna do the same over here Now, just like that, it also adds another depth of color. Um, you know, I always call that the peekaboo shade. It's just another color that's like peeking through. 
just gonna blend out those edges okay so we're gonna be doing a neutral look so I'm not gonna be doing any cut crease or anything like that because this is for beginners all right I'm gonna take this color right here it's like a neutral like a soft brown color I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna tap that all over my lid super super simple see not doing too much the colors are decently pigmented but for me not to use a primer these colors are showing up you know what I mean like they're doing their own thing by themselves <laughs> I'm very impressed I've never tried this palette before so if you've seen it in the store you know that it works so far I like this soft brown color that's really nice and I'm just taking a flat but fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just basically tapping that color all over my lid and it's giving a really nice soft brown color perfect now you can see the all three of the shades I use you can see the brown you can see that orange and you can see the color on my lid and that's all we're gonna do I use three eyeshadows for under I think this palette is seven it's five I think it's five dollars <laughs> but um I'm just gonna go back in with the brush that I used that brown with and I'm just going to clean up those edges I didn't add anything else on the brush I'm just going to clean it up. I'm just taking what's left on the brush. Just going to clean that up. Add a little bit more just to blend the two colors together on the end. So this palette is $5.99. So it could be a different price at your local beauty supply store. It could be $5. So I'm just going off the... Um, the website so it's $5.99 it does come in different colors oh it's a little mirror down here but girl who girl, who looking at that like who who seriously finna had a palette girl now they know they wrong for putting that mirror right here what I like to do is I just like to take some wipes these are from Dollar Tree and I just like to clean up um, any fallout and I didn't really experience any fallout to be honest it's probably just a, a little, but I don't really see much. I mean, there's some on the wipe, but it's nothing to be going crazy about. Next thing you're going to need is a primer. You need something to prime your skin. If you have oily skin, you need like a mattifying primer. If you have dry skin, look for a hydrating primer. I have oily skin, so I um, will look for a hydrating primer. I felt like this primer right here was in the middle for, I guess, dry and oily. Um, but this is from LA Girl. This is my first time using it. This is the Pro Prep HD High Definition Smoothie Face Primer. So we're going to see how this works. But um, I felt like this was okay for in between. So basically, it helps smooth and fill in fine lines and pores. So I'm opening this for the first time. And it's been out for years as well. So you definitely need a primer for your face. A primer is basically like a barrier between your skin and the foundation, if that makes sense. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, so basically it just kind of helps your makeup last a little bit longer. Um, I remember this being a dupe for something when it came out, like when this was really popular. I can't remember. I don't know if it was like Smashbox or something. If you guys remember, let me know. But yeah, I'm just going to add a little bit at the top right here on my forehead. Now that I apply my primer, I'm going to go in with um, foundation. I'm going to be using the Nika K Perfection Liquid Foundation. This foundation claims to be full coverage and it's a natural matte finish and it, it is, okay? I love it. I'm in the color Chestnuts. I do wish they had more shades, um, but oh my God, I just love this freaking foundation. It's so freaking good to me. <laughs> And it's from the beauty supply store and it's only 7 dollars 
Okay, where we at? We at twenty dollars or something? <laughs> where we at, honey? Y'all keeping track? Cause I'm sure like that is a new brush that I have here. I'm gonna try to. It's from Real Techniques. I'm gonna see what it do. If it ain't doing what I need it to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move over to a new brush. And I tend to be very heavy handed with my foundation, so excuse me. I'm like that with every foundation I use. I just hate double dipping. <laughs> Sometimes I have to, but so excuse that. But it will um will go down. Make sure you're getting your ears. Just you don't have to get your ears all crazy. Just kind of go over it like this. But the color will <laughs> it will calm down I know it looks crazy in the camera but it will trust me I know the beauty supply store um, I will say they do lack certain products like certain foundation shades or concealer shades but I feel like they've gotten better over the years but they still need to work on um, foundation shades because you know, it's 2023, but we keep repeating ourselves. So I'm, I guess they're not going to do it. <laughs> Anybody, I guess, but that matter. So we're going back into the concealer. We're using Fawn. That's the color that, you know, I'm using. Um, you don't need a lot of this product because it's quite thick. So you don't need a lot. You could put it on the back of your hand and then warm it up on the back of your hand and then put it on your face or use the brush applicator that came with it i haven't used fawn under my eyes in so long <laughs> it looks good you don't need a lot I think the reason why I kind of stopped using it because I was using a lot by like, way back when but I didn't use that much this time because I know it's pretty thick I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and I'm just gonna go around that concealer because sometimes concealer has like harsh lines when you blend them out I'm just gonna go around it so it's blended into the foundation we don't want nothing looking harsh, but it actually looks pretty good. I like the way that looks. All right, I got a few setting powders here. I don't know which one to try. I got Nika K. You can find at the beauty supply store. I got Kiss Professional that you can find at the beauty supply store. I'm going to try Nika K. I'm going to try Nika K Perfection Finishing Powder in the color Buttercup. Buttercup? Buttercup. <laughs> Ghetto. Oh, I like this packaging. It's matte super cute okay and then it just has a, look at nika k that's nice all right so this is what the color looks like oh wait a minute i might want to look crazy right there when i put my setting powder on my sponge i do put it tap it first and then i Put it on, but I guess I didn't tap it enough. <laughs> okay. Just gonna wipe the rest of that away with a brush. Okay. It don't look too bad in the mirror. Um. I don't know if it looks a little... It looks make my under eyes look a little dry, but we're gonna see after we spray our face and stuff. Now I'm gonna take the Nika K Press Powder Perfection Press Powder in the color Mahogany. I'm gonna take that and I'm going to set my face. I did drop my powder, so it's broken now. I'm just gonna take that and set my face with a large fluffy brush. I'm gonna set it. Now I'm gonna go under my eyes just a tad bit. Now, 
now you can definitely find you a setting powder at the beauty supply store um once again i will have the price on the screen <laughs> this gotta be five dollars too it might be 6.99 these powders but as you guys can see it's going on nice and smooth the eyebrows is pissing me off y'all it's not the pencil it's the way that i drew them on okay and I just kind of went under my eyes a little bit, just try to tone that down. But this is the Nika K Press Powder. You need a pair of eyelashes. I recommend two pairs, like two different styles. And the eyelashes that I have here is from Cherry Blossom. Now, everybody might not have Cherry Blossom at the beauty supply store. So the second option will be Eye Envy. Kiss Eye Envy Lashes. If you don't have Cherry Blossom, I recommend to start off with the Kiss Eye Envy. If you can find the eyelashes in the purple pack, really nice for beginners. So um, I wanted to use something from Cherry blossom but since um like i said i don't know if everybody has this at their beauty supply store i'm just gonna go ahead and use the number um the i envy kiss number 10 you can always find something really natural from kiss at the beauty supply store so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use these for today's look yes let's put these on and these are my favorite so pretty let me show y'all so pretty <laughs> I'm just taking my tweezers and I just took the end of the lash and I just peeled it off the tray so next you're gonna need some eyelash glue it comes in the hair glue bottle so don't get it mixed up this is eyelash glue but it comes in the hair glue bottle it does come in the color dark and they do have the clear kind I like dark because I feel like the clear takes too long to dry for some reason Alright, let's put on some bronzer. The bronzer I'm going to be using is from Absolute New York. If you cannot find this at your local beauty supply store, I recommend to purchase on their website. But Absolute New York is a beauty supply store brand as well. This is their pressed bronzer, Miami Sunshine, in the color dark. They don't have a lot of shades, um, but if you are my skin complexion, this will work. Like, look at that. Look, Weezy is doing what it needs to do. If you cannot find a bronzer at the beauty supply store, get a pressed powder, um, like a warm color pressed powder, something that is a little bit warmer or like a shade darker than your skin and use that as a contour powder or a bronzer. That would be your next option. Um, if you cannot find a dedicated bronzer that's another thing that the beauty supply store lack is bronzer but this one right here from absolute new york definitely something to have in your makeup kit we're going to put on blush i'm going to take the absolute new york face palette there's all type of different blushes at um the beauty supply store but this is the whole face palette and this is another item i recommend for your makeup kit not just this in particular but just a face palette so i'm going to take this color matte flush i will swatch it for you guys okay that's bright as hell i'm just going to take this shimmer right here okay both of them bright girl okay yeah i'm just going to take the first shade that one is girl i'm going to take this color right here this is a shimmer kind of flushy blush i'm gonna take that that's a little bit better and i'm just gonna take a little angle brush blush is optional i feel like that's something that you have to like you know kind of get into versus necessarily having it in your makeup kit you don't need to have it in your makeup kit but if you want to practice with it you can um you know what I mean? I'm glad I didn't put that other color on, child. Okay, highlighter is another option. But the highlighter that I recommend is the Ruby Kisses. Y'all should already know the Ruby Kisses highlighter in the color Bronze Glow. This is the All Over Glow Bronzing Powder, but it is a highlighter. We'll swatch it for anyone that is curious. 
don't need a lot. I'm just gonna put some down on my nose. We'll take a little bit up here. We all know we go to the beauty supply store to get a lip liner. You either get a black lip liner or a brown lip liner. Get all your lip liners from the beauty supply store because they're very inexpensive. The one that I'm gonna be using, I've been using this for years, still use it to this day, is from Nika K. This is their lip liner in the color Coffee. And this is just a nice brown lip liner. Really nice, dark, and chocolate. Everybody don't want to, you know, dish out the $20 on a brown lip liner all the time. Look how deep that is. In the shade Coffee. And guess how much it is? A dollar. Using the Ruby Kisses Matte Lipstick in the color Brown Sugar. I saved the best for last. Baby girl, hold on. Boom. Clear lip gloss. You cannot, cannot go in the beauty supply store and not get you like 40s clear squeezy tube lip glosses. Brand that everybody go to is Broadway. They have different kinds. Um, this one is the Shea Butter. As you guys can see, I've been using this one. Then they have Honey. Um, then Ruby Kisses have their lip oil, and then they have like these jelly lippies, which is really popular as well. But I'm going to go ahead and use Broadway because everybody buys Broadway. Don't need a lot. And it just gives your lips an extra, uh, an extra little bit of shine. And once again, you can't go in the beauty supply store without this. This has to be in your beauty supply store makeup starter kit. Like, what else are you supposed to get? <laughs> you see the shine? It's beautiful. Like I said, you don't need a lot. Oh my God, beautiful. I love it. This is the only setting spray that I go by from the beauty supply store. And I recommend to purchase this setting spray and have it in your makeup kit. This is the Makeup Collection 2-in-1 Micro Fine Mist Primer and Setting Spray. This brand does have more makeup, um, but this setting spray is everything. I love it. It is a really, really nice dupe to the Morphe Continuing Mist Setting Spray. It's really nice. As you guys can see, the packaging is the same and it sprays out just like the Morphe. I love this stuff. Oh my God, and it feels so good. Look how it's just glistening everything, okay? And it's gonna dry down, so yeah. That is pretty much everything. Everything looks good. Honey, we probably didn't even go up $100, but I'm gonna tally up everything at the end so you guys can see versus if you were to go to even Ulta. If you go to Ulta, you're spending some money on makeup. Honey. I don't even think we went over $100. So anyways, if you guys are new here, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. I really, really appreciate it. We'll see you guys in another video. Bye.